Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. So I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I wish you a happy new year. This is my first video of uh, 2021. So I hope you guys are all doing well. So if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe to and uh, hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, power pose. You know, for a while there, I had kind of overlooked power pose, <laughs> you know, and I'd focused uh, mainly on uh, just using motion capture. But there's a way, uh, th there's a power to power pose, I suppose, no pun intended. <laughs> But there is something to it. And so today we're going to be talking about uh, just sh going through the paces of the different uh, motions that uh, you can achieve on the face. And I have this character here. Um, I mean, uh, I ray. I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see in a different angle. This character reminds me of uh, Black Panther, you know. And so I wanted to do a cut to see what kind of uh, motion, emotions that you can get from power pose with this character. And you find power pose by going to window, pen, pens or slash tabs. And then you go all the way down to power pose. So this is what we're going to be working with today. And you can increase, you can scale the window so you, can, you have a, a better view of this. So this is the main panel we're going to be dealing with. So, because I think it's important to know before you jump in, to what all these one these are uh, different ranges do on the face here. So we won't be doing it in uh, IRA because it doesn't it's not real time. Uh, so I'm gonna switch to uh, textured texture texture shaded because that's easier to manipulate. And if I zoom out, you can have a, a good look at the character. Okay, it's really really good model model. Right, so we're gonna select this the face and focus on it. Okay, so now let's see what the ranges are. So again, this is just focusing on power pose to see what all these guys do. You know, these are different controllers. So there's brow, these are uh, eye groups. If you mouse over and hover for a minute there, a second, a few seconds, you can see the hint of the name. So let's see what this one does. So this one. It, uh, it moves the head around. So if your character is, is looking around, so you could record that, okay, and key it as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so after you've moved uh, one of those uh, expressions, you can go back up here and uh, zero the selected items, you know. So for example, we had this one, we can zero it so that it goes back to the original motion, all right? So let's look at uh, this one, the eyes. Let me rotate around a little bit. So this one, the eyes are moving around. It has like a fleshy aspect to it, which is very, very cool. Okay, and we can go, let's see, zero, zero selected items. Okay, uh, let's try this part right here. This is uh, eyes. So uh, the con that's why it was important for me to go over this because you, you would assume that, for example, this might be the eyes, but it's important to know the different aspects of it. If you want the eyes to close, like to blink, you use that one. Okay. And what's awesome is that it has other aspects to it. So it's not just a blink. So it makes the it gives the face more life. Okay. So that's for blinking. This is for Again, it looks like it's mouse over. Those are the chicks. Okay, so you can see them moving up and down, but it looks like it also influences the, the eyebrows some. Um, okay. Then this one is like the mouth. 
and you can go left right and you can go down to open the mouth left to right passes okay and then the the next one this one let's mouse over it it's the mouth down like if you, you want the character to be sad or smile and you can see that it has more than just one control it's a combination of all of them that's pretty cool and then these ones that's if you want the character to have like a wider mouth let's mouse over and see mouth left yeah mouth left mouth right and you can also use the right button so these are the different controllers over here so i was really interested in the ranges you know like how can i control the different ranges of the the character using these di different parts because I'm, I'm i wanted to make sure that this is for just the blinking for the left eye the sorry the, the right eye and then you can do the eyes individually so and then of course you can go to the more nuanced version of the i mean level so that's again today was just a, a test to see the different expressions that you can get with the, the power pause and so the goal of this is again to, for me to be able to eventually take this animation and see if i can actually send it to the unreal engine using file export send to does unreal but that will be a, a tutorial for another day so thank you so much for joining me today we're just going over power pause and the different uh, aspects of uh, here, the different aspects of it, and how to control the different parts of it and how you can use it to create expressions. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to combine this together with the uh, face controls. So I guess, thank you so much. <laughs> that was just a quick test. I like doing this quick test so that we can all share in the knowledge of how some of these things operate so please don't uh, spare a minute to subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video i hope to do uh, way more interesting videos than i did in 2020 i hope 2021 is going to be better than 2020 for sure so see you next time guys uh and uh stay blessed bye bye for now